What's up y'all, this is SFlex. I'm gonna have a quick Caustic 3 tutorial on how to do automation. Uh, there's a couple of different ways to do it. You could do it freehand or you could go in and program it yourself. I'm gonna show you both ways today. Just keep on watching. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's just see up here. Let's just show you what I got. Alright, so let's just say I want this uh, flute to start going down in frequency without having to do it myself once it's recorded. So what I'm going to do, if I want to do freehand, I'm just going to start it right here. back and hear that you can do is go into the sequencer and hit these little boxes up in the left hand corner by patterns and you can just uh, hit it till it, it looks like this and see how it's already on flute now if you click on flute you have the automation for all of your uh, synthesizers on the board so now that you're already on flute Go ahead and delete that. If you want, we can make it cleaner. So, what we're going to do is start deleting these ones. Delete, delete, delete. So, I want it to be on that bottom one. Alright, now start deleting these ones too. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and listen to that. I can make this a little lower just bring it all the way down let's see how that sounds Okay, so um, that's basically how to do it on um, song, when you're on song mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to pattern mode. I'm going to show you guys a cool little, cool little trick. Alright, so let's just say I'm on here, right? <laughs> Let's just say I want uh, an automation to repeat every single bar that it hits throughout the entire song. So you switch over to pattern mode and you go ahead and flip it on. Now it does not work on your boards. These doing the pattern mode because I don't know why, but it doesn't. So. The only way to do pattern mode automation is by going on the actual synthesizers like doing automation on these pattern mode is one of my favorite ones. So but you can do it on this one too. I'm going to show you on, let's see.
now basically since I did that on pattern mode every single every single one that I have for this pattern is down on the number one for the C and which is claps and snares every single one for pattern one is going to have that in it so that way you don't have to go and do it throughout the entire song cuts out a whole bunch of bullshit in the room so what's up guys just giving you a reminder if you want your caustic three to look different like this then stay tuned for the next episode next saturday and i'm going to show you exactly how to get new skins i'm going to give you the link in the description below for next saturday and uh yeah guys just go ahead and stay tuned because every single week i'm going to have something brand new and look out for these new beats because they're hot i'm going to show you guys exactly how professional that you can take this all right if you learned something today subscribe to my channel and hit that like button i'll see you guys next week